friends, welcome to Storytime on the Back Porch with my furry friends, Tiberius, and this is Lila. I am so excited to share today's book with you. It's called How the Bluebird Got Its Color, and it's written by someone very special. It's actually the former governor of the state of Tennessee. His name is Winfield Dunn, and the pictures, well, they're drawn by Walter Kinestrick. Let's get right into this story and find out how the bluebird got his color. Once upon a time, long, long ago, deep in a large forest, a small meeting of all the birds that lived there was called for. The wise old owl asked all the little sparrows to fly through the forest and tell every bird who lived there to gather in a large open meeting space to hear some very important news. And so the sparrows did, flying so fast here and there throughout the forest, asking every bird that could be found to please come to a meeting with Mr. Owl. When the meeting time arrived, the sparrows had done just what Mr. Owl had asked. From every direction, the birds of the forest came. Hummingbirds, wrens, jaybirds, crows, robins, red-tailed hawks, Mockingbirds, ducks, and chickadees flew in and gathered as a large group before Mr. Owl, who stood perched on a log. Even funny old Mr. Buzzard, with his skinny neck, small head, and fat body was there. It was a large crowd that had gathered because when the wise old owl spoke, every bird paid attention. Just before the meeting began, another little bird flew out of a nearby tree and came to rest next to Jaybird. This little bird had heard the news from a sparrow and wanted to be a part of the meeting. Jaybird took one look at little bird and asked it not to stand so close. Jaybird said, You are the ugliest little bird I ever saw, and I don't want you around me. Little bird moved away, coming to rest near Mr. Cardinal. Mr. Cardinal fluffed his feathers and said, Go away, ugly little creature. I don't want to be seen next to you. A tear dropped from Little Bird's eye as the hurtful words sank in. The only thing to do was to move away and sit alone near the edge of the large crowd of birds. The little bird had no friends, and it was beginning to understand why. The other birds felt they were very beautiful, and they certainly thought the strange little bird they had never seen before was very ugly. And so the ugly little bird stood alone and listened. Near Mr. Owl, there was a strange figure on the ground. Mr. Owl began to explain why he had called the meeting. A most popular bird of the forest, beautiful Miss Swan, had become ill with a sickness that was very dangerous. Mr. Owl explained that he had brought Miss Swan to the meeting and had laid her at his feet. She had a high fever and her beautiful white feathers were turning dark. Mr. Owl, a very wise bird, told all the birds that only one thing would save Miss Swan's life. She would have to have a tiny taste of a magical white cloud that floated high, high in the sky, not too far from the sun. This white cloud had mysterious powers, which Owl had heard about, and someone from the large crowd of birds would have to volunteer to make the dangerous journey up near the sun to bring back a beak full of the cloud. Who will volunteer? asked Owl. There was nothing but silence from the crowd. I have a sore wing, said Robin. Jaybird muttered, I have a bad cold. Sadly, Owl said, I am too old to go. And so there were no volunteers to help beautiful Miss Swan. Suddenly, a little voice rang out of the crowd. From back near the edge of the large group came the words, I'll do it. I'll go after the magical white cloud. I want to help. Yes, it was the voice of the lonely, ugly little bird. He was willing to do whatever he could to help someone else in need, even though he had been treated so poorly. All the birds laughed at the words of Little Bird. Mr. Owl shrugged his shoulders, and the meeting was over. Poor Miss Swan. The ugly little bird said nothing else. He took a deep breath, fluffed his feathers, and flew into the air. He aimed straight for the sun. 
Although the brightness hurt his eyes, he knew what he had to do. Up, up, the long open spaces that lay before him. He flapped his little wings, breathed deep gulps of air, and kept going. Soon the earth was just a tiny speck beneath him. High in the strange silence, he passed Mr. Eagle, who was soaring on the waves of air that lifted his wings. Little Bird told him, I'm on my way to the magic cloud. Mr. Eagle frowned, but said nothing. Soon his little wings were beginning to ache, and his lungs were about to burst. Up, up, the ugly little fellow continued to struggle. It was the fight of his life, but he wanted so much to succeed and help Miss Swan. Suddenly, just when Little Bird felt he could flap no more, the bright sun disappeared. A beautiful white mist touched his ugly feathers and eased the pain in his lungs. He said, This must be it! This is the magical white cloud! All the hurt disappeared. He gulped a beak full of the cloud, then suddenly felt himself soaring down toward Earth with new strength and energy he got from the cloud. Little Bird swooped down into the clearing where the meeting had been held. Only Mr. Owl was there, along with the sad, sick Miss Swan. Little Bird said, I'm here, I'm here. Please open your eyes and open your beak so I can share the magical white cloud with you that I brought back from near the sun. Very weak, the swan opened her beak and a little bird shared the magical cloud taste. It was like a miracle. Miss Swan rose to her feet, raised her graceful neck, and suddenly all her feathers returned to the beautiful white color she was so proud of. She was healed. Little Bird swelled with pride, but he was very tired. Wait, wait, who are you? asked Mr. Owl. He was speaking to Little Bird. I'm just the same little ugly bird that no one wanted to be near, said the little fella. You can't be, said the owl. You're beautiful. Just look at your shiny, bright, smooth, ever so blue feathers. You can't be that ugly little bird. Little Bird took a moment to look at his wings. It was true. They were a brilliant blue, as were all the feathers of his back and tail. I must have this new color because I tasted the magical white cloud. Oh no, said Mr. Wise Old Owl. You had that beautiful new color because you were willing to help someone else, no matter how hard it was, and because you didn't let the hurtful words of others discourage you. From now on, Mr. Bluebird, your beauty will make you proud and will win you many, many friends. And your beauty is not only on the outside, it is on the inside as well. And now you know how the Bluebird got its color. This is such a special little story. From what I understand, Governor Winfield Dunn used to tell this story to his daughter every night at bedtime. Sweet story. We're so glad you joined us today here on Storytime on the Back Porch. Be sure to join us again and make sure to subscribe for a story 